Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX uh, UK and I want to welcome you to this uh, video where I'm comparing three medium wave external antennas. Now for anyone that doesn't know, um, these external antennas, they improve the reception on the medium wave band for portable radios. So this one here on the left is my recently acquired um, antenna, the SV2CZF antenna. This loop over here is the Texan AN200 and this uh, box over here is my homebrew or self-made medium wave um, antenna and for anybody that's very observant this is a Nintendo Wii U uh, box. Okay then so we're going to compare them right away. Okay so we've got our Sony radio here tuned to 882 kilohertz which is BBC Radio Wales which is about I think 100 miles uh, away from my location okay so the reception at the moment um, according to the signal um, indicator on our radio is um, four to five bars at least I mean it's flashing on the fifth bar so we'll say it's about five bars and we're going to use the first antenna which is the SV2 CZF and see how that improves reception Okay, and now it's going to seven bars, right? So that's seven bars out of ten. We just turn this up. Yeah. And we're going to take off the antenna again. And yeah, it sounds a little bit weaker. Gone down to five bars. Well, four to five at least. There we go. Okay, so we'll give the SV2 CZF antenna um, seven out of ten for signal strength. Okay, so uh, let's go on to the next antenna. Okay, so same frequency, same station. Again, showing four out of uh, sorry, four to five bars um, on the signal indicator um, out of ten. And we're going to use our Texan AN200 antenna. This uh, loop antenna here. Okay. And it's gone up to touching eight um, bars out of ten. So the SV2 CZF was uh, a seven. This one is stronger by one bar, so it's touching about eight now. Eight out of ten. Sorry, I know you can't see the um, the loop because of the uh, light coming from outside. But yeah, that's the Texan AN200 loop. So it's taking first place at the moment. So now we're going to uh, go on to the uh, next antenna. Okay, so for our final one, we've got the Hombu uh, medium wave antenna. Now I can't put it in the same position as the. Um, the previous two antennas, the SV2 CZF and the Te Texan AN200, because of how big this box is, you know, and the fact that I'm getting a lot of noise um, on the medium medium wave band here, um, so I've had to put it in this position here, and the result is a solid eight out of ten. Whereas these Texan AN200 was like the eight was flashing. Um, this one the homebrew is getting a solid 8 out of 10 so yeah no surprise if this one's getting the stronger signal because it's the biggest antenna of them all um, my homebrew antenna so this one takes uh, first place now the homebrew antenna a solid 8 out of 10 okay so let's uh, conclude our results Okay, so uh, based on the comparison, um, which would we say is the winner in terms of performance? Well, it's got to be the uh, medium wave homebrew box antenna, um, which obviously is the biggest one. So no surprise that it got the best reception. Uh, in second place is the Texan AN200 uh, loop. Again, no surprise because it's the middle one of the three. And in third place is the SV2 CZF antenna being the smallest now. Does that mean that the SV2 CZF um, was the worst one uh, by far? No, it was actually very close between um, all three of them. Um, and for such a small antenna, it really packs a, a punch. Now, in terms of portable use, um, 
again, the SV2 CZF um, is going to be the winner for me because, um, you know, it uh, it's so small, you can carry it in a pocket very easily and you can place it on, you know, on top of a, a portable radio very easily as well, secure it with, say, someone like double-sided tape or blue tack. So very easy to carry, the easiest of the three to carry. The Texan AN200, yes, you can carry it outdoors. It's very easy to... Um, to carry and so on put in a bag but um you know uh, it it's it's a little bit too big for my liking for outdoor dxing so um i mostly use this indoors i have used it a couple of times outdoors the texan an 200 uh, loop but i prefer to use it um indoors because um you know it's just not discreet enough for me uh, the sv2 czf is the more discreet um and like i said the easiest to carry around and of course this one here the uh the homebrew medium wave antenna i uh, would it's in no way for me is it a portable antenna but also as well because um i've used a cardboard box um to um you know to make the antenna to wrap the wrap the wire around it um you know if i take this outdoors it's going to be exposed to you know and I expose it to the elements like uh rain damp and so on um it's going to be destroyed in no time so you know this is strictly you know this box antenna here is strictly for indoor use so yeah the uh, sv2 czf antenna you know is is a great antenna very small in size but also very powerful as well but if you want to consider getting the Texan AN200, why not? It's a very good antenna, a medium wave antenna. And if you want to make your own um, homebrew antenna, you know, to get, um, you know, better performance compared to these two, then, you know, why not? You know, at least it's something that you can experiment with. And, uh, you know, you can say that you've, you know, you've made uh, your own medium wave um, antenna um, to your liking, let's say. Okay, so uh, thank you very much everybody for watching 73s and until the next video, bye.